y'all welcome in or welcome back crushing life and stuff with deborah with more of the life and stuff portion with a flip through of the little bonus that came with my all recipes magazine this past time the slow cooker favorites volume six everybody has a slow cooker i think i mean i think that must be a requirement at least in the u.s when you become an adult you end up with at least two slow cookers and a drawer that has nothing but junk in it. I, I think that must be a thing. All right, starting off with the cover. This looks like they're doing something yummy there. They've got some chips and everything next to something that looks nicely cooked. And now I'm hungry. Oh, and we're starting with a table of contents. They, they have brunch, appetizers and beverages, main dishes, and surprises from your slow cooker. I don't really want a surprise from my slow cooker. All I can think is like, you know, somebody has a huge cake and a person pops out of it. I don't want anything popping out of my slow cooker, okay? And some nice pictures of different things because yum, because that's what they do. Starting us off with brunch. That is eggnog French toast bread pudding. Oh my God, I want that. I love making French toast when it's eggnog season because I use the eggnog instead of the milk mixture and it's wonderful. Oh, they have a lot of different recipes in here. Ham and cheese quiche. I never thought of doing a quiche in my slow cooker, but okay, I guess you can. Um, also, butternut squash, squash shakshuka. I'm not understand, I'd have to read the recipe, but I'm not understanding how in the world you would do a shakshuka in your slow cooker because then the eggs would get too done, I would think. I don't know, I could be wrong there. Mexican tomatillo poblano eggs. Wow. And on this one, I'm just looking at the times of the cooking. Prep is 20 minutes. It depends on how fast or how slow you chop things. Slow cook six to seven hours or low, or three to three and a half hours on high, plus another 25 to 35 minutes on high. So that's a good long cooking thing, but it sure does look good because poblanos are so nice. And tomatillo, I love tomatillos. I don't like fiddling with them to try to take care of them fresh, but I really like them. Frittata with chipotle guacamole. All right. See, I always thought frittatas, you just put it in a pan and then, then you put the pan in the oven. Maybe there's another way, I don't know. Um, pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Oh my God, I'm really making myself hungry. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Also, sausage, apple, and cheddar monkey bread. No, no monkeys will be harmed in the making of that recipe. Lots of tips and everything with each different recipe here. Maple apple brunch cake and eggnog French toast bread pudding is on this page, but the picture was over there. Okay, the picture was on the other one. But this is the maple apple brunch cake. Hmm. I never did understand brunch. It's such a weird thing, because you get all fancy with your breakfast. You don't eat something that you would eat at lunch. It's like a, it's a whole different thing. Appetizers and beverages. And on this page, they're showing mango pineapple toddy and Caribbean cocktail sausages. All right, little wieners, big drink, okay? With a pineapple wedge stuck in there. Slow cooker chicken wings. Oh, I am all over that right there. The only thing with that is you don't get the crispiness on the outside of the wings. If you can deal with that, you've got a good sauce. It, it's wonderful. Crunchy nut snack mix and chai tea toddy. Some of these things are just really hard to say. The crunchy nut snack mix, that looks like a Chex mix. And chai tea toddy, yeah, I love, love Ta uh, chai. Oh, and you're making it all yourself. That's wonderful. Ginger, cinnamon sticks, cardamom pods, cloves, peppercorns, half and half, honey, water, of course, tea bags, and brandy. Oh, they're making it, you know, little adult there. 
The recipe for the Caribbean cocktail sausage is on, is on this page. Plus they've got a jalapeno popper dip. Who does not like a good jalapeno popper or jalapeno popper dip? So they're showing it how to do it in the slow cooker. Pear, ginger, toddy, and a cranberry nut brie. Oh, I love brie. That just looks beautiful and holiday joyous to me with the cranberries. And on this page, they've got a hibiscus tequila toddy. They said the magic word, a tequila. Um, and also chicken chorizo meatballs. They barely show that toddy. And the hibiscus gives it the nice pink color. And there are the meatballs. And on the other side of this, I will show you in a second, it shows white chicken chili. That looks pretty yummy. That's what I always think of the slow cookers being useful for. Things that have to, you know, cook for a long time. Oh. Slow cooker tangy molasses barbecue ribs. When's dinner? Really? Wow. And on this page, slow cooker green chili pork. Green chili is just like, that is the state everything of New Mexico. Matter of fact, New Mexico has a state question, red or green. Red chili or green chili, or you can ask for Christmas, which is both. I'm not even kidding, look it up. Uh, Cajun mac and cheese. Okay, I'm on board for that. It beats the macaroni and effort that we usually that we call the box stuff, which we still make, but we doctor it up. But yeah, we have that funny name for it because cursing, that's how I live. Uh, barbecue chicken macaroni and cheese. That's that one down there. They are using the spirals in that one. And the recipe on this page for the white chicken chili that we looked at earlier, okay. And this one, cabbage roll soup. Oh, I love a good cabbage roll. My grandmother used to make stuffed cabbage rolls. Mm, 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 mm. Cajun seasoned vegetarian gumbo. That sounds interesting. I'll have to look into that. I mean, it looks delicious. And I hope that didn't pick up on camera. That was my stomach grumbling. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. Salsa Verde beef taco salad. That's what we saw on, the, on an earlier page. I love salsa verde. Oh, and it just says use one and a half cups of salsa verde so you can buy the salsa verde of your choice. Okay. Indian spiced lentils with spinach. Always very richly spiced foods. Sunday dinner stew. Looks like a pot roast. With potatoes and carrots. Yum. Asian beef shanks and vegetables. That looks pretty. And here are the surprises from your slow cooker. Hopefully, like I said, no people jumping out of cakes or anything because that's weird. Although the picture they're showing at the front of this section, cinnamon pecan dump cake. I would never have thought to make a cake in my slow cooker, like ever. How do you get it out? Yeah. Cherry tomato tart. That looks beautiful. Uh, bacon cheeseburger pizza. Again, with how do you get it out without destroying it? I have to, I have to read and see. Spinach ricotta pie. Mmm, that just sounds wonderful. Okay, turn the page. Turn the page, I promise. Cornbread. To me, if you're going to go through, the, through making cornbread, you have got to do it. I mean, I'm sure this is probably good. It looks yummy. But you have got to have that iron skillet in the oven, making that grease super hot so that when you pour that batter in there, You've got a nice little crust. I'm just saying. Apple cherry dump cake. And of course, they put some ice cream on the top. And then cinnamon pecan dump cake. The recipe for that one is there. But 
I don't understand this making a cake in your... I, I have got to read these. Now I'm going to be kind of obsessed with this until I cook again. Come on, turn the page off. Hazelnut pudding cake. There are just too many words there that don't seem to make any sense together. And peppermint pretzel candies. Again, with the I don't understand where the slow cooker comes with that. But that's all of it. It's got an index on the back that tells you about everything. Because this is just a little booklet that was a freebie with this one. It'll certainly give me some ideas. Um, but some of those are just a little weird. Like, okay, how'd that happen? But sometimes you get extras when you subscribe. And it's cheaper to subscribe to a magazine than it is to go buy it on the shelf. Like, if you're going to buy it all the time, subscribe to it. You get a big discount on it. That's, I mean... Um, um, I am a frugal shopper. Yeah, that's what we'll call me today. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. I hope it made you as hungry as it made me because yes, it did. And uh, I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.